Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a reading for you, Scorpio, for the first half of July 2023. Here we go, right into July. I can't believe it. Scorpio, if you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. And just a general reminder, this is a general tarot card reading for the sign of Scorpio. Anywhere in your chart, or if you're just checking in on a Scorpio, if you're nosy like me, you are all welcome here. It just might not resonate with all of you. Scorpio, Scorpio, what's going on? The time for healing, the balsamic moon. Oh, look how beautiful all those pinks and purples healing coming right into the heart space here. I love that. And in the crown, nothing is yet set in stone. The beautiful moon. Love this card. Nothing is yet set in stone. So we make our own destiny here, Scorpio. It's up to us. That's our free will. <laughs> it's not always great, but it is up to us. All right, animal spirit cards. Animal spirit cards are up in the ether for Scorpio. Spirit, tell me about Scorpio. Oh, wow, the black egg. Look at this. You're about to crack wide open with your spiritual gifts here, your talents, your skills. Oh, I love that. And I love the greens and purples here. I just love that. Such spiritual strength coming. And the moth, the bird of St. Anthony. Wow, the patron of lost things and the deer. Look at this. So beautiful. Wow, very calm, calm, calm energy. Calmness coming to the heart space here. And transformation. You're just a seeker of the light here. You're seeking out the light here. And what we seek, we shall find, Scorpio. So you are about to find the light. Love that. Show me the light. Zen tarot cards, Zen tarot cards were up in the ether for Scorpio. I knew that was going to come out. Nothingness. You got the black egg and nothingness. It's been tough. It's been some choppy waters. I saw it with the mutable moon card here. Scorpio. Scorpio, this light is going to be blinding to you. It's blinding to you when you come out because you've gone through such darkness. Look at the bottom of the deck with the burden here. Such a burden. It's been too heavy. It's been way too heavy. Times have been too heavy. Emotions have been too heavy. Situations just been too, too heavy. It's time to ease up. It's time to lighten up. Whew, lighten up. Let's see. What are you thinking about right now, Scorpio? What are you thinking about right now? What is Scorpio thinking about? Seven of Swords, all the deception, all of the uh, wrongdoings, all of the slights that have been made. Maybe you're going through this little memory lane trip of how everything has gone wrong or just been dark. It's been uh, cold and lonely and um, uh, trying to get your power back. It's been a struggle. It's been a struggle. What led up to this? The sun. <laughs> the sun. <laughs> I love that though, because it's like you just, you had to go through this cycle, this pendulum, this pendulum of light and dark. So things were really, really great. Maybe you had a great childhood. And then as you got older, things just started slipping from you or your dreams started slipping away from your grasp here. And so that just got scary for you. It was like, well, who am I without that dream, without that? So little crises here, little uh, identity crises here. What's the challenge in the mind space for Scorpio? What's the challenge? What's the challenge for Scorpio? The fool. <laughs> All these cards I'm not expecting. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the seven of swords right off the bat because that is always kind of, I've lost my power. I don't know where I'm going. I'm sneaking away. I'm trying to escape something. Then the sun came out with leading up to it. And now the fool in the challenge. But the challenge is to start over. The challenge is to let go of that dream, to let go of that idea of who you were. It is kind of like an identity crisis here where there's something that needs to be let go of. There's some kind of identity within you, something you're relating to that's got to go. It's got to go. It's a stance you're taking. It's a an idea that you have and it has to be let go of for something brand new to come in. There's something screaming to get through. There's a light. There's a piercing that's trying to happen in here through the darkness through the 
a wall that you have built up here. And it can't get through until you let go of that dream. There's a new dream wanting to come in for you, Scorpio. Future, future thought, future thought for the sign of Scorpio. Wow, is this powerful right off the bat. Queen of Wands and Knight of Cups. I love this. I love this. Inspired action. Inspired action coming in. That's what leads you toward the light, leads you out. There's a, a kitty cat, a kitty cat involved here that is leading you toward the spiritual awakening. And that's exactly what this is. A spiritual awakening is happening here, Scorpio. You've elevated, you've elevated out of something. So what was old, what was your dream, what was your final goal here has morphed and changed into something completely different. But this idea, this dream really fulfills you, fulfills your heart, fulfills you. It gets rid of the disappointment. There's no more disappointment in this. You've just been setting yourself up for disappointment for so long. You don't know how to change it. You don't know how to morph out of it, but here it comes, the energy is here for you. Queen of Wands steps up. The Queen of Wands gets what the Queen of Wands wants. There's no waiting. There's no lying. She just moves forward into her dream here. God, you've come from some choppy waters when it comes to relationships here. I really, really see that with the Knight of Cups. You see that shark just circling underneath, just waiting for that cup to fall. <laughs> That's the disappointment. It's like it's like this, this setting up for disappointment that was going on here. And now you're just moving that aside. You're moving toward the light. You're not, you're moving out of the negative into the positive here and making a plan for the future. Look at the Two of Wands again, an inspired action card to move, to make the decision to move here. Some kind of cat, some kind of uh, animal that is uh, cat-like, but maybe maybe it's a dog, but uh, really, really assisting you here, helping you to keep your balance, helping you to keep that. I love that. I love that. Hang on. Hang on, kitty. You remember that? There was like this end of your rope kind of meme. I guess I'm showing my age where the cat was just barely hanging on. It was like, hang on. And the message was hang on, but I forget what the slogan was. But hang on, Scorpio, you're about to step off the cliff. You're about to take a leap of faith into a new dream, into a new dream. You're accepting your gifts. You're accepting those gifts. Even though those gifts are different than what you've kind of focused on, uh, you're so accepting of them. It's like, yes, I, I accept that. I accept. <laughs> the award is yours and you accept. All right, what's in the heart space? What are you feeling right now? Tell me what Scorpio is feeling right now, Spirit. What is Scorpio feeling? Four of Pentacles, wow, just in the waiting room, feeling very stagnant, very bored. Ooh, look at Temperance coming into the mix here. Sagittarius energy coming into the mix to give you balance, to give you balance and stability. There was kind of a lack of stability in those choppy waters. You were just uh, bouncing back and forth on that pendulum from the higher highs to the lower lows here. Now you're finding this massive balance coming to you. You've been waiting, you've been waiting in the waiting room for something, something to happen. I've been waiting for something to change here. Realizing here in the mind space that it's me that has to change. I'm the only one that can do this. I'm the only one that can transform out of the dark into the light. So you you became this light seeker. Beautiful. What's the challenge in the heart space? What's the challenge? At a crossroads, at a crossroads with the two of swords. Do I stay or do I go? It's like you perfected some kind of skill, perfected it. You were so good at it, but there was this like glass ceiling over you. Well, how far can I take this? I can't go any further with it. I can't take this skill any further. You've got to crash that skill. You've got to uh, look at the bigger picture of it and just really crack it, crack it open and see what else is there. There's some kind of other skill trying to burst through that has to do with all this practice you've put in, all of this conditioning that's gone on with you through the dark and now it's time to take the shot it's time to just just throw the dart and see where it lands on on some kind of other skill that is related but not the same beautiful beautiful future future feeling for Scorpio future feeling the hermit yes <laughs> you're going on a retreat <laughs> going on a, a, a camping trip or getting out into wilderness, getting back into Mother Earth, getting back into your uh, true authentic light here. It's your light you're seeing now. Now your light is bursting through and you realize that is the light. I am the light. I am the light. Oh, nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself, really looking at your own needs here. 
love that because it brings in such balance for you and really opens up the idea that there's something calling me. There's, what is this tug at my heart? What is that? And you're really focusing on it, really looking at it. Oh, I love that. Very powerful, very powerful reading here. A jump into the unknown. A leap of faith is taken by you. Spirit, what's your advice in the heart space for Scorpio? What's your advice? What's your advice? King of Pentacles. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> That's the advice. Enjoy the wine. Eat the chocolate, Scorpio. <laughs> Eat it. <laughs> No day but today. <laughs> I love that. I love that. The, the abundance, the security, the stability, the uh, uh, jovialness. There's this, this happiness bursting through you. It just can't be suppressed any longer. You can't hold it down any longer. <laughs> Under the water, you were choking out that happiness. Not for me, not for me. And then bam, it just comes. It just springs. It's that pendulum out. It had to breathe. It had to get oxygen. <laughs> Love this. Coming into such a happier, lighter time where there's you're offering love. You're offering a, a hopeful messages. It's not doom and gloom. It's beautiful. In the situation, in the foundation right now for Scorpio, in the foundation right now, Ten of Wands, all those burdens, all those burdens, all of those things that have happened, all of those disappointments, all of the disappointments. You've got the burden here twice in the foundation. Look at that. Whew, there was a lot on your shoulders. You had to really take care of a lot of things before you could move into this happiness. But you did, you did, you took care of them. You stepped up, you uh, took charge, you took the lead, you healed yourself beautifully. And now you're taking a leap of faith out of the burdens, out of the burdens and into the light. I mean, you're really going to be blinded by it. It's going to seem um, unsettling at first. It's like, wow, all this good stuff. When is that other shoe going to drop? Just coming into a realization there was no other shoe. It was all up to me. It was all up to me. And I'm going barefoot, I'm going barefoot and dancing in the flowers, I'm not holding myself back any longer. Wow. What led up to these burdens though? What led up to that for Scorpio? King of Wands. Wow, you've got a King of Wands and a Queen of Wands in the reading here, but hmm, maybe there was a, an authority figure holding you down or just an idea of someone holding you down or um, hmm, the cat saw it. <laughs> Your helper was there <laughs> collaborating with this King of Wands. Interesting, interesting. Some kind of authority figure, some kind of boss or partner or um, again an idea for some reason I'm getting the idea because of the queen of wands is in the mind space so there was this idea of what the perfect couple was what the perfect job was what the perfect career was what the perfect skill was and it it's getting shattered it's getting shattered you're shattering your own illusions of love here Scorpio because you're going for the light. You can't seek out the dark any longer because what we seek, we shall find. And you just kept seeking out the problems because you wanted to nip it. You wanted to catch it. You wanted to put the worry before the problem so you could manage it. And you learned you can't do that. You've got to just put the blinders on. You've got to take the leap of faith. You've got to trust. You've got to trust. And take care of yourself above all really self-nurturing right now and I'm loving that I'm loving that but yeah somebody tried to uh, suppress somebody tried to suppress with an idea maybe of who you should be or what's under here that wants my attention so badly oh my god the thunderbolt the tower the tower comes in yeah I think you walked away from this king of wands or this idea of who you are or who you should be what's the challenge in the situation what's the challenge in the situation the healing look at that with the star and justice wow things have been out of whack things have been out of whack unbalanced um, unfair unfair for sure for sure 
or at least you felt this way, at least you felt like everything was out of whack, everything was unbalanced, but there was universal balancing, a, a recalibration happening with you, a new skill set that you've got to focus on. It's beautiful. It's very profound. It's very spiritual. It's very healing. There's a healing gift to it, a healing quality to it, especially with the star. But here comes, I mean, here comes the karmic justice, the rewards, the payoff, the... Um, inspiration to keep going and but change things up you got to let something go here to move into this brand new beginning this brand new phase of your life here it includes miracles it includes wishes wishes coming true here valid valid success story for you here but you've got to let go of the fear of it you've got to let go of the fear of the different outcome here let it go let it go. You're finding divine, divine balance here. You're being gifted with some skill here with the sun. Love this. It's very powerful. Very powerful. Here comes the universal law to even things out for you. Scorpio, I love this. I love this. What is spirit's advice in the foundation? Spirit, what's your advice? Four of swords. You got to rest. Six of pentacles. The reciprocity is coming. Oh my God. In the ace of cups. Wow. Wow. A brand new relationship coming to you, Scorpio, that includes reciprocity and includes the give and take of emotions here. I <laughs> love that. And finances. There's some kind of equal partner coming in or some kind of uh, friendship coming in that really, really gives to you and nurtures you and takes care of you as much as you take care of them. But it comes after rest. It comes after this retreat, after this getaway, where you really start finding what's important to you. Letting go of a lot, a lot of fears on this getaway. I love it. I love it. Finding balance. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. Boy, this light is going to be blinding. This miracle is going to be shocking to you. You're not going to be able to, to even uh, comprehend it at first. It's going to be like, what? What? <laughs> That never happens to me. <laughs> You're going to be so happy. Something really, really big. Something really big. An opportunity and an idea that you didn't think of. Or uh, I don't even know where that's coming from. Let's get clarification on it. What is that? What is that? First of all, let's look at why you're trying to sneak away. Why are you trying to escape right now? What are you trying to escape from? What is Scorpio trying to escape from in the mind space here? So tell me about the Seven of Swords. Let's get some clarity on the Seven of Swords, the Five of Pentacles. From that poverty mentality, that lack mentality, that there's not enough or you don't have the answers or others are privy to answers that you don't, you're not privy to. You're letting that idea go. No one, no one is... Uh, receiving information that you're not privy to or that you don't have access to when it comes to spirituality, Scorpio. You have access to all. And it's just a matter of getting out of your own way here, getting out of your own mind here. Realizing the key is there all along. You just have to lift your head up out of the darkness. Out of the darkness, lift your head up. There is light to be found here. There is music to be found here. There's something about music and singing and dancing and finding that inner peace, that inner child again and nurturing it, taking care of that child. I love this. What's this leap of faith? What's the fool here for? What's a leap of faith? seven of swords on people on contracts on commitments on words here those are what scare you you've been taken you've been had you've been fooled you've been deceived and so it's so hard to learn how to trust again that's absolutely the hardest thing in the world is to open up your heart and be vulnerable again and let people in again because there was some things that went down that really really hurt you really took you to your knees here Wow, big, big shift in your mind space here that it was up to you the entire time. It was your reaction to them that mattered. It was not them. You cannot control others. You cannot control their actions. You can only control your reaction to that. And you've stepped up as the queen of wands. You have the divine protection around you. You have held on to your magic with grace. You have held on with grace here through some very, very trying times, some choppy waters. And um, you're sneaking out of the dark. You're slipping away. 
you're slipping away. I'm wondering if those zombies will miss you. <laughs> those energy vampires <laughs> that have just about sucked you dry. <laughs> wow, you are on the way out. You found the exit sign. You found the exit sign and it's filled with light, filled with light and answers and security and abundance absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful what is this message of love coming with the knight of cups what's that all about for scorpio what is that all about this message of love tell me about love Ooh, the ace of pentacles look at this some kind of big payoff some kind of lucky break coming to you in july the ace of pentacles here wow it just really lifts you up it gives you that second wind it gives you that uh, whew, I did it. I got through something. There's a, a finish line here. There's the tape. I can almost see you just running through this beautiful, beautiful, divine, spiritual tape here through the finish line. <laughs> and the crowd goes wild, Scorpio. <laughs> oh, yes, you deserve this. You deserve this win, this yes moment. Love that. I love that. You have to tell me what that is. Let's look at this balance, this balance in the heart space with the Four of Pentacles and the Temperance card, Sagittarius energy. Let's take a look at that. Where did this balance come from? Letting go, letting go of it, letting go of the expectations of it or letting go of the need to control others so that you can be happy. You have to change so I can be happy here. You have to do what I think you should do. You have to say what I think you should say. And if you don't, I'm going to throw myself back into that depression. I'm going to throw myself back into that dark room and keep uh, trying to develop my, that film there by myself in the dark. It's just like I can't see. I can't see why you're doing this. And you let go of it. You let go of it. Do I care why they're doing this? Or do I care more about my journey, my well-being here, my connection with spirit here? And you do. You decided you do. You have spirit gifts here that are wanting to come through different kind of gifts different skills than what you are used to here so you've got to hone in on those you've got to really jump on those there's some kind of opportunity on those that are coming through it has to do with being a healer of some kind you're absolutely a healer with the star and the hermit coming in wow scorpio change change is a foot here and you are stepping into it happily happily stepping out of the dark you are the finder of light now and nothing's going to stop you eight of pentacles look at that look at that working very very hard i feel like you're trying to decide between work and play though do i what do i do here what do i do i need to have this abundance come in i need the resources to do what i want to do but i'm so bogged down by the idea of work by the idea of uh, my job here Maybe that's a struggle. Do I do I break free? Do I go open my own business? Do I go uh, find my own opportunities? And the answer is yes with the King of Pentacles here. The King of Pentacles says yes. It's, it's freedom. It's the feeling of freedom that you're looking for. So find that now. There's a version of what you are going to be bringing in here in the future that you're living right now. There's some kind of version of it. So focus on that. Focus on the version that is pleasing you in the in the now moment beautiful beautiful and that will all unfold the way it needs to unfold there's no forcing anything you don't have to escape you don't have to sneak away here you don't have to do that midnight move out here you just have to ease into this you just have to ease into the light we don't want that pendulum happening any longer we don't want that roller coaster up 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 and then down 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 we just want this beautiful beautiful balance here and that is an easing into it an effortless way to do it you don't have to effort your effort your way into happiness here you just have to be happy so relax into this. Let it unfold uh, the way it needs to here. Let go of that struggle. Let go of that struggle. Let go of the question itself and just let yourself ease into this next phase here, Scorpio. It's beautiful, beautiful, because that next phase is about money and abundance and feeling luxurious and um, stable. So tell me about that. What brings that in, for Scorpio? What brings that stability in? <gasps> <laughs> the angels spirit does look at this with the chariot cancer energy racing in the merging of the energies the merging of the light and dark 
they work together and you're understanding that. I can't have one without the other. I needed the dark. I needed the dark to find the light here. And so you're just understanding that you're merging these energies, these ideas of light and dark here, the battle of light and dark. It's kind of over for you. You're moving into the gray here. You're moving into the, the merging of the energies here. So it's not so extreme on either side. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You're going to really propel forward very, very quickly into this uh, lit way. It's just, it's just all about light. It's just all about uh, the light seeker, the light searcher, the uh, seeker of light. You are the seeker of light. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Tell me about this burden and this, oh, look at this, the world under the bottom of the deck. I'm holding my deck upside down, but the world comes out. Let's see the Ten of Pentacles, the burdens, and this authority figure. Who is this King of Wands? Who is this King of Wands for Scorpio? Who is that King of Wands? Made it feel kind of burdensome. Leo and the star again. Look at this major arcana. I can't believe it. You've got the star twice here massive massive wish coming true for you a dream come true you just you don't even see this coming it all has to do with your healing you're taking care of yourself and you're merging of the energies you're just integrating you're integrating the energies instead of fighting them there's no more resistance from you it's just yeah let it be let it be and it gives you so much strength scorpio you are so strong you're so strong because you know exactly how to start over you are you know, death and rebirth. You know how to begin again, but now you're looking to root it out. You're looking to set roots. You don't want to keep starting over. I'm tired of starting over, Scorpio says. Well, here is that wish come true. Here is that stability. Here is that legacy that you are leaving, the roots you are um, setting in now, setting in. You're just stable and secure and have a home. You have this home base that you're working from this home business or this home business idea and you're integrating those energies even what you consider work what do i consider getting a job versus working from home you're asking yourself these hard questions how do i merge this how do i get freedom and still go to work how do i get abundance and and still go to play how do i do that and you're really asking the hard questions and bam the answers come the answers are here the wish the miracle the light is here i love it love it and it's july look at the chariot the number seven it comes with this full moon this full moon in capricorn july 3rd sparks off starts off everything for you massive massive change massive rebirth for you and a moving forward no more healing no more processing no more asking the questions here i go here i go right down the uh straight and narrow and uh calm watered lane <laughs> i love it what's at the bottom of the deck here ace of cups you've got the ace of cups and the ace of pentacles this is very fulfilling for you not just monetarily but emotionally fulfilling this new beginning this lighted era you are walking into now this new uh, path has just lit up for you and you can see the way you've cracked open that spiritual box here the pandora's box you can't shut it now scorpio so you got to run with these skills you got to run with these gifts that you found while you were on some retreat on some camping trip on some two-day getaway or uh maybe nine it's a nine number so maybe this nine day get a nine day cruise <laughs> alaskan cruise <laughs> changed everything <laughs> allowed you to heal the healing is necessary the healing is where it starts here ah, Scorpio wow very 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 powerful I am loving this I am loving this move toward the light now you're ridding yourself of any darkness and that is a beautiful beautiful thing we can all follow you everyone follows Scorpio they know the way out <laughs> exit this way you're like the on the plane this way and this way. <laughs> Love it, Scorpio. I hope you have a fantastical July, first half of July. Thank you so much for watching this. If you're still here, can't tell you how much I appreciate you. Don't forget to hit the like and uh, subscribe buttons if you haven't already subscribed. All right, Scorpio, I will definitely tune in with you soon.